Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel, Basim. I am Madhu and today I'm going to be showing you how to use Google Slides. So let's start off with the presentation's name. So right here you can see Untitled Presentation. So you can name the presentation according to what you're doing. I'm just going to put dashes, so yeah. Right beside there you see the option start. So when I click on it, it means like I have like stirred this Google Slide. So it's going to be like on my top most, it's going to be like on my top and it's very important to me. The next one right beside that says move. So this is where you can move yours or organize your, uh, this Google, this particular Google slide into your Google Drive. So you can see file here and then you can say, uh, you can see rename. Rename is like when you can like uh, edit your name or you don't have to click on file and then go to rename and just click on that. And then you see move, that's exactly what I told you, and add shortcut to drive is the same. So if you don't want this presentation, you can move it to the trash and there's these document details and there's like language. So you can um, choose the language you want it to be, but I'm going to keep it as English right now. And we also have page setup. Page setup is like how the slide looks like. Say, for example, I keep it standard for three. This is how this will look like. So you can also custom your page setup if you want. There's this option to custom it, but I'm going to go with widescreen the way Google had given me first. And we also have print as well, so you can print this if you want to, if you wanted to, ha if you want to have a hard copy. And we have edit, and this means that you like, can undo something, and then you can like redo it. It's just like uh, how we did first slides right now. You can also cut things, copy things, paste things, and all those. I'm going to show you a quick example here. So if I uh, if I don't want this, but uh, if I don't want this in this slide, but I really need it in another slide, I can just like hit, click cut. So that means it'll take it off, but if I want it back, I can just paste it. That's how you can cut something. And then if you want to copy it, you can just click copy. And if you want to paste it, you can paste like after copying. So you have like two things. And what if I don't want this? I can just delete that. Or if I want like double and I can just like duplicate this, like edit and then duplicate there. So another shortcuts you can use on your computer if you're using a computer. If you want to copy this, you can click on it and then you can click Control and C. And now that's copied. And now if I want to paste it, I click Control and V. So now I paste it. If I don't want this, I can just click Backspace. So that would be gone. And if I want to select everything, I can click on Edit and then select All. And I can just delete that. Okay, another thing is we see insert here. I'll talk about the image text box like later. We have audio, so you can like add audios, videos, and I'll talk about shape later. Let's do table. You can add your tables. Let's keep 20, 20 times 20 is like the maximum you can get. But uh, yeah, so we can click on insert and then table. And then let's create this for by by chart. So this is a table. So I'm gonna move. Oh, I'm gonna move the table here, and we'll talk about the table a bit more. And after that, um, I see like the option chart. You can like make pie charts, line uh, line graph, column, bar graph, and all those stuff from Google Sheets. Or just for example, if I just click on inserting chart, you can do this. You can like edit this if you don't want this, and but you have to do it in Google Sheets. So yeah, I'm gonna delete that for now. And now let's go back and we see a diagram. So these are like diagrams, like there's grids, there's, and then timelines, and then cycles. You can click on that and then you can like edit like, there's these things and then you can also edit them when you click on it. So, and um, let's go after we see word art. Say for example, I wanna say, how are you doing? I first type that and Voila, this is what we get. We get it like in like bubble uh, writing. So we're also going to be talking about that. So let's put that there. And and we see the line. I'll talk about the line right there. Okay, so first, uh, let's look at this. So we see like a new slide and slide with layout. So there's all these types of layouts you can get. I'm going to get a new blank slide. Or you can just like click on that and then you get a new slide. So I don't want this slide. I'm just going to delete that. And we have like the uh, undo redo button right here. We also have the option to print, just like we had in file. And now this is paint format. Let's see what a paint format does. Say for example, I have this text box. And the color for it is this, let's check, it's this blue. So let's click on the text box. And if I click on the paint format, and I want another box just like this color, in a different size, maybe I can do it like this. 
either way, so I have to like, and then it, I will get the same color. So I'll click on do not auto fit, and then I'll get the same color just as I copy. So this is like a thing that like copies your color, and then you can like paste it into a new thing. So I'm gonna delete both of those. And after that, you see this button. So this is like a zoom, like you can zoom in and then you can like zoom out. Like this is like fit, so you can do that as well. If you just want like the magnifying glass, you can do that. Like just keep clicking and then let's just fit it back. So that's like uh, zooming in and zooming out. Like zoom into like specific spot. And now this is on zoom, so wherever I click, it's gonna zoom in. But if I want to come back, let me just go to fit, and this is my cursor. So I'm back to normal, I have a normal cursor, nothing is bad. Right beside there's a text box, and I can just drag open a text box. And then I just click do not auto fit, so I can make it to any size I want. Like I can write in it, let's just write random letters. Da da da, what happened to my letters? Oh, there we go. So yeah, so there's all these kind of uh, things you can do, and you can just erase that. So there's a box right here. Now um, we see the insert image. So you can upload it from your computer or you can search the web. I'm going to search, for example, let's say a uh, cake, for example. There's all of these types of cakes. I'm just going to get this cake. And um, so if I want to crop this, like there's like these kind of white parts I don't want, I can just like click on that. I can like I double click. So I'm going to like crop it right there and then I'm going to crop it here just a bit more right there. Let's just crop it here. Or if you don't want to double click, you can just click on the image and you see the option to crop it. So oh, let's just delete this text box. I don't think we need it for now. So I'm going to put our cake right there. Now we have the option like oh, right here. I I told you there's like drive things, photos, URL, camera, and all these stuff you can also insert images with. And now we have shapes. So there's all these type of shapes. There's arrows. There's calories, equations. Let me take a normal smiley for now. So if I like, I have the smiley on my cursor right now. Just let me just like click on it, and I get a smiley. And I can like do like the size I want it to be. And then there's also this, or like I can make it sad or happy. So, and then I can just uh, change the color for this. Let's go with a yellow, nice bright yellow. So there's a smiley there, right? We have. So after this, we have the option right here to add comment. So this is like maybe you're like editing someone's stuff or something like. So we can just say like, well done. There you go. And then we can just like comment it. So that's a comment right there. So I'm gonna delete that because. We don't want it right now. And we have the option like the background right here. For the background, you can just choose like a normal color if you wanted to. There's a background as background color. Or you can choose an image. Let's go to Google Image Search. Say, for example, we want some flowers. So let's type that. And we have all these types of flowers. So maybe I want this background. I just click insert. And then I click done. So I have this background. So I can choose my image as well. And like, um, I'm going to show you another way. So if I click on color, I have solid and gradient. I click on gradient. Let's go to custom right here. So this means I can, I can create my color I want. Say, for example, we want like a um, light bluish, light pinkish color. So let me click on custom. And maybe let's, you can just mess around with these colors, make some nice colors you want. Oh, and then you can like add stuff, you can make rainbow colors, whatever colors you suit with. So you can just mess around with those and I got this color. And now I can also like change the angle how I want it to be. Maybe this, okay, I like this uh, bubblegum flavor color. So I'm gonna click on done and I have nice background. So now we see the layout. Layout's like just like what I just showed you right here. It's like title side, section header, all these kind of things. And we have theme. Themes one, so right now I just created my own color, but if you want um, if you want a theme, given from uh, Google Slide itself, you have all these kind of thing, the, uh, themes, sorry. Yeah, so you have these themes to do if you want, if you want something, if you want like themes from Google Sites, then that's you have. And now the next thing we have on the list is transition. Let's go back to this slide and let's click on transition. So right here, so it says like none. Um, so if I click on this, like maybe like a cube, for example, this is what uh, happens. Let's click on play. And then that's what happens. It's like, it's like moving like that. And now the next thing we can do is um, 
this is like duration, how fast or slow you want it to be. You can apply it to like all slides. Like if you want to uh, animate like objects, say for example, let me take this, how are you doing text. I just click on add animation and let's do like zoom in. Yeah, and let's play. So if you see, I click and it's like it just zooms in. You can like add all those kind of things with the animations. Uh, let's close that. Okay, so I think we're done the line right here. So let's talk about this slide. Um, oof. Let's talk about the table we brought up first. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's just leave it there. Okay, I'm going to just, no, come on, come on. Okay, let's scrap that there. Okay, so I have this table. I can make it any size I want. I can also change these lines if I want it to be this or like this, any ways I want. So I can change those lines as well. And you see like the fill color. So I can put this color and then it fills all with the same color. And oh, let me just go click back. Okay, now let's fill it with pink. And we have this option, it's like the border color. So if I click black, all the lines will be as black. There's also like the border weight, it's like how thick the line is. And it can either be this thick or just like normal thick or maybe like medium thick. And all those like also there's like these dotted lines if you prefer or straight lines or like these type of designs all these you can do with that and now we have like the fonts like there's like a ton of font like trust me like millions not millions but like quite a lot of fonts so you can there's also like these recent fonts like if you just like click on that um say for example as an example i like quicksand i click on this so let's say one and then I can just click on the down button and then two and then three then it depends on the font you change so if I want this to be a bit bigger I just I just like uh, highlight this and I can just click on the font size or I can just decrease it or increase it it depends on what I want and this is like I can bold it so it's like bold and I can it like I can like uh, click on the italic button and then it's like slanted I can click on underline and then if I don't want it I can just take them off and there's also colors maybe I can take this color these are like text colors so and then there's also these highlighting options um let's go with white highlighting so like you can highlight something it doesn't necessarily have to be these colors there's like maybe a white highlighter and then oh sorry yellow highlighter and then maybe I want the text to be black because I can't see the wordings properly and I can do that as well. Okay, so um, so this is uh, the table you can do. Now we're going to delete that. Now we're going to go on to the word art. We're going to see what we can do with the word art. So um, maybe we can do this and then a dark color. And then maybe we can like change these. Let's like laundry in a shadow. And then maybe let's click on bold. And then, no, maybe bold doesn't look that good. Let's change this to pink. Yeah. Maybe this looks good, but it's quite hard to see. Maybe I can bold it, but this is how it looks if I bold it. But these are things you can mess around with and stuff. So I'm going to delete that. And let's go to, before we go to, I'm going to show you one more thing. So this is like a normal text box. We talked about fill color, border color, and all these stuff. And we stop right here. Like you can insert link, maybe like in this slide, maybe next slide. So like if I click on this and I click on that, I just go to the next slide. So that's another thing you can do. And now I'm going to just delete that. Okay, and now we have like the comment thing I showed you. And this is when you can align text. Say for example, I have the word hello right here. I click on this, and if I click on align, I can put it into like the middle. Like I click on this, and then I can like arrange that to the middle, and all those stuff. And here I have like the bulleted list. So let's just turn this back to where it was. So I can like bullet this, so hello, let's just make sure there's an out of it. Uh, okay, there you go. How are you doing? Oh. How old are you? And all these things we can create. We can just make the text box bigger. And if you don't like these bulleting uh, ones, we can just delete this all the way to the top. Okay, and now we can click on this right here, and then you have this option like this kind of thing, or maybe there's these checkboxes, or there's these arrows, or stars, or maybe these arrows right here. 
Or maybe you could number them, like one, two, three, or like A, B, C, if you want them, like for example, you're doing questions and that. So I'm going to uh, delete this text box. Let's go here. Say, for example, I have this cake right here. If I click on the cake, I see format options. When I click on format options, I get all these. I can like change the size, the rotation, and then the position. Maybe I can center. There we go. And then recolor. I get the option to recolor some objects. So if I click on this, I get like these type of colors, or maybe white, or maybe it's a chocolate cake. Maybe you can do that. It depends on what you want. Or like if we don't want it, we can just like give no recolor. And then shadows. We can like drop shadows. And then yeah, we can do all these kind of things. So and that's format options right there. So and then another thing I wanted to show you is um where did it go? There we go. So when we have this smiley right here, we can also like do the gradient for these kind of things as well. Not just for the background, you can do it for these as well. So you can like do um make it black, bold enough, and that. There we go. So this is how we can do it. And we can also insert like backgrounds and then add some images, maybe like walls, whatever picture you're trying to make. So if I like give like a wall, I get like a brick wall and I can add all those kind of stuff and I can mess around I can use this oh and one main thing is like I can present this so when I click on slideshow I get a full screen of the view and I can present and when you also click here you can like uh, click on the turn on the laser point so if you're like presenting to someone you have like the laser point and they can follow along where you're going with so that's it for today's video thank you for watching this video Make sure to like, share, and hit that subscribe button. We'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.